It's like, oh, shit, we're about to go live. It's, like I'm saying, it's because of what the incident that we spoke about. That's what prompted this. Yeah. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Akiwa, Akwa, theme. We're live. First and foremost, <clears throat> I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Baracha, Chodash. Again, peace and blessings to the whole family elect. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and to the elder bishops. Much respect to the mighty Gabayim on the highways and hedges and to the Gabayim making videos of edification and salutations to the uh, whole family elect scattered the brother be unto the speckled bird. Okay. So today I got the I got the brother here again with me. I bad you. You know his channels. Yahweh Yahweh Shai Bad Ha. Yahweh Yahweh Shai Bad Za. Okay. Make sure you check out the channels. And uh, Shalom to hopefully like hopefully <clears throat> hopefully like Lady of Yahweh and Khan Van Gath. Okay, God, it's Well, you well you, you pretty much said it correctly. God, God, God. it's really what you're pronouncing is God. You know. Yeah, God. God. So today we're gonna go into uh, the book of Matthew, the 13th chapter. All right, where this basically goes into the parable of Yahow of Yahushai, who he was sharing upon the multitude. Okay, <coughs> Salakia. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into it. So we're gonna start with uh, Matthew, the 13th chapter, and verse uh, 41, which is the title of this lesson. And it says, this is Yahushai's words, red letter. It says, the son of man, which is Yahushai, shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. Okay? So what is this going into? Okay? This is going into what? The separation. The separation of what? The righteous and the wicked, okay? Especially here in this wicked kingdom, okay? Starting at the house of what? Yahweh. Because judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, which is the house of Israel, okay? And we think about that as well. That also reminds me of um, Amos, uh, let me get that, the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, and I think it's the, uh, the ninth verse. Just give me one second. Oh, well, you talking about where, where the Lord's going to sift the house of Israel? Yeah. Right, yep. right, right, right. I saw that verse, uh, I saw that verse eight, because I said that his eyes would be uh, up on the sinful kingdom, which is here. And uh, Babylon, not so great. This is Amos 9 and 8. It says, behold, the eyes of the Lord. Now, the eyes of the Lord is going to what? His angels, his messengers, okay? Especially what? The prophets who are watchmen. <coughs> And it says, behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, <clears throat> are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth via thermonuclear fire and chariot fire. Okay. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord, Yahweh. Okay. And the precept to that, I think it's in the, uh, the book of uh, Malachi. When he says, what? I'm the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob should not be consumed. Ah, 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 ah. No. What's the what's this what's the sinful what's the sinful kingdom? The sinful kingdom is here is basically here in America. The the earth that's given to the hand of the wicked, Job 9 24. The the queendom, I should say. Now it's not even a kingdom. Right. The queendom, the queendom that's what governed by Esau Edom, the border of wickedness. Okay. Now also, also I gotta say too, because when you read like John 8 and 44, when it said you are of your father the devil. That's, yep. you know, we know that's talking of, we say that's talking about Esau, but the <coughs> elders always say that's really talking about those wicked that's scribes true. and Pharisees. So that's mm -hmm. a twofold precept, just like yep. the precept we read when it says the, the um the Lord's eyes is upon the sinful kingdom. It is talking about America, which is the mystery of Babylon, but also that sinful kingdom will be the nation of Israel. That's all right, amazing. so I'm gonna back that's you up. up. Isaiah chapter one, verse four. Our sinful nation, mm. people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. So yep. really, this whole this whole lesson is about anything and everything that's opposing 
to um your how about shimmy i was shy i mean if, really go on with go on with, with whatever you have mm -hmm. but open up well not open up go back to the, um pretty much the, the 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 scripture that you open up with because once you read that they can get a complete insight on what we're talking about because you didn't put a title up you just put that precept you know what i mean oh so, okay 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 so I mean, you, i'm sorry I you put a title up, you yeah. just put the precept but you didn't open up with it you know so go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> So back to uh, like the brother said, man, the, the you know, let's talk also about the rebellious house of 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 Yasha Allah. OK, so going back to Amos nine and nine and I start back at verse eight, it says, behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord, Yahweh. Right. For lo, I will command and I will sift. The house of Israel among all nations, because we were scattered to the four corners of the earth. And it says, like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And you know what? I, I, mm -hmm. That kind of, that through the spirit, when you think of like grain, right? When you think of like a a, 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 a robust, fresh, healthy grain, what do you use that for? Not only do you use that for to like to feed, you know, to make food, but guess what? To feed what? Cattle. In this case, we're doing what? Feeding the yeah. sheep, right? Yeah. With that pure grain, okay? So that grain, that pure grain is what? Is is, is the word of the Lord, but also what? The, the, the Yahweh Bashim Yahshah's elect that's bringing out the pure, un, un, unadulterated doctrine to feed the sheep. Exactly. And that was beautiful for <clears> you to say that because, like you said, oh, you use grain to feed cattle. So mm -hmm. Shai, did not Yahweh Shai say that he was the bread of what? He was the bread of life. The life, you know, man. Yeah. I like multi-grain yeah. bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is St. John 6 and 51. I am the living bread mm. which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I would give is my flesh, whom I would give for the life of the world. There's beautiful. a lot said right there, but I just want to get to that bread part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, man. Yahweh Shai is that bread of life. <clears throat> So, the, okay. so, so you have to eat the whole roll. So like, gotta eat, the, gotta eat that whole roll, man. <laughs> Literally, the, the whole roll. roll that, 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 you know how you get them, the bread roll. God, 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 man. <laughs> hey, man, this is beautiful, man. Go ahead. Gotta right. eat that. Oh, oh, make sure, make sure, <laughs> make sure it's unleavened, man. You can't be having yes, that leaven bread, man. Yes, you sir. Know? Yes, sir. But check this out. Verse ten says what? All the sinners, right? Going back to what we just opened up with in Matthew the 13th chapter, how what how Yahweh shot will what cast the wicked into that fire. Okay. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Okay, going into what Esau Edom being the sword. All right. But ultimately, Yahweh Shai, which is the sword of Yahweh, that right hand, okay, <clears throat> which say the evil should not overtake nor prevent us, man. Because that's going into what? Two thirds of Israel, man. Okay. And also the other nations. But again, like the brother said, which that sinful kingdom is starting with what? The house of the Lord going back to Israel. Okay. So we have what? The, the wicked scribes and Pharisees. Also those in, in the book of Maccabees that um I think it was first Maccabees that what? That said, let us make a covenant with the heathen. Okay. Which also contributes to what we're seeing today. All right. We were abominations. Uh, um, um, wickedness as a whole, as at a whole all time high, okay. This exactly. place has to be destroyed, okay. You got it, Doc. Kind, and it's beautiful for you to um segue right into how you said this. You know, this place you just has so much wickedness that that's at an all time high. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like you and I, <laughs> that might have been, Love and it. you know, the few sisters that do believe, man, we tired of this society because mm -hmm. we understand what what we are who we are supposed to be and what we shall become. So yeah. our whole purpose is to gather in the lost sheep of the house of Israel and to go back to Elder Apostle Tahar's video yesterday about mm. um, going into many books. Remember, it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None shall want her mate because, and it says, um, my spirit hath gathered them. God. So this is all spiritual. All right. So the Bible itself, I always say this is like a living organism. So mm, as we're leaving, yeah. as, we're, as we're living and speaking, it's organically happening before our eyes. So knowing that the spirit gather us, 
that means that not only spirits on the right hand side but on the left hand side because we dwell in a plane where there's righteous matter of fact can you please give me um can you give me um Sarah? I think it's Sarah. Okay, yeah, Sarah. Yep, yep. Yeah, got you know, you. Matter of fact, got yeah, you. Yeah, we're gonna read. Yeah, matter of fact, we're just gonna start from there and just head on down because it's always it, even in life, you always have a protagonist and an antagonist. And antagonist. Sometimes in the hero, you always have a villain, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People are always in distress, and then someone come to save them. Well, yep. like it says in Obadiah, the last I think it's the last verse, it says that we are saviors. It literally refers to us as saviors because we are uh -huh. shepherds to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But on the flip side, because the Lord did with a balance, we are on the sheep to Yahweh Shai because he is the head shepherd. Khan, you know? yep, that chief cornerstone. Khan, right, yep. chief cornerstone. But, but guess what we are? We're lively stones. We're lively stones. So we're oh, still man, stones. Like we're still shepherds. Bro, uh -huh. It's just the spirit. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. You know? Go ahead, Ah. This is Sirach, the 33rd chapter, starting at verse 14. And it says, good is set against evil in life against death so what is life the life is the words of this bible mm -hmm. it says it in baruch form one it said that this law shall not um escape from the law no. yeah it shall not be matter of fact i don't want to I, I don't want to butcher i'll get it let me get it up yeah go ahead Bible got you, got you. I left he my said baruch, there. I yeah baruch form one so I, i'll hold the 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 Sirach, uh 33. let's go to baruch four <laughs> and one wow. it says this is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endureth forever mm -hmm. all they that keep it shall come to life life but such as leave it shall die right so the law is life can you go on can you go to um you can drop that. Can you go to Proverbs 6 and 23? And then we'll jump right back to Sarah. Baba. Come on, come on. Proverbs 6. This is Proverbs 6 and verse 23. And it says, <clears throat> For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs, which is correction, mm -hmm. of instruction are mm -hmm. the way of life. So what is the way of life? Being rebuked. Mm -hmm. And then being exhorted after you repent. That's what we're doing to our people. We're crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up our voice like a trumpet. Mm -hmm. Because the things in this society offends us. This is a very offensive society. And the only defense that we have pertaining to our side of the mm -hmm. ball is faith. Because we truly believe that, that we're, what it says, Seeing therein, all these things shall be um dissolved. What manner of persons are we to be in all holy conversation? Huh. It said, Can we look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness? Mm -hmm. All right, so Beautiful. um, the law is life, so we have to be corrected. But remember, correction is grievous to a fool, right? Exactly. So they're gonna die in their incredulity. That's why I said, Let not the incredulity of them. Uh, trouble thee because they're gonna die their unfaithfulness. Faithfulness. Yep, yep. So we're fighting with faith, they're not. So we are so we easily get offended by them, like they get offended by us. So let's go back to mm -hmm. Sirach and we're gonna find out why they get calm, offended. Calm. Why we get offended. <laughs> let's go to Sirach 33. <clears throat> One second, get back to that. Sirach, what are you talking about? 33. In verse 14, and it says, Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. Verse 15. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. I awake up last of all. As one that gathereth after the great gatherers. Hold on, you said oh, verse 16? Con, we want to stop there? Yeah, read the last, read, read the, the verse you just previously just read. Bible verse 15, that. verse 15. It says, so look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. Two and two, one against another. You have mm -hmm. good versus evil, right? Yep. Well, this is Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? 
Mm-hmm. That's us. Yep. That's us. We the X Men. You know, mm-hmm. we're the X Men. We're we're the um the credible hopes, the Captain Americas. All right, we are the sons of God. Yep. We are guys on earth. No one else on earth can do what we do, right? So so at that so at the instance we're speaking on behalf of our Father, which is the Heavenly Father, the Father of all spirits. Yep. And he sent us forth as he always does with the prophets prior to prior to them. I'm gonna say them bringing forth their judgment. Shalom, shalom, Janet. Bring forth their judgment to the earth. The Lord always sent forth his prophets. That's why in first Samuel, the 16th chapter, the fourth verse, the elders of the city said, Comest thou peaceably to Samuel? Why? Because every time the prophets come on the scene, they let you know the Lord's gonna bring forth the judgment. judgment God. God. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, so we're we're for war- we're for warning the people of what's to come based upon what we see. And even the prophets of the Bible see it. Collect, collect the, the word says the law is life. So if you're not repenting, they mean that you're not willing to keep the law because you don't believe Yahweh shall die for your sins, which is sin yep. is what? The transgression of the law. the law. That's why we're over here right now. That's why we're under these curses. Mm-hmm. Right? So, um, Baba Goshai, can you give me all? Um, do you have anything? You have yeah, something? I want to bring out. Oh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I want to bring out this in Proverbs, which basically sums up what you said, man, because instructions and reproof is the way of life, right? Which also gives us what? That true understanding of how Yahweh Bashim Shai operates, okay? So if you go to Proverbs, I mean, a scripture that we're all familiar with, Proverbs 21 and verse 16, it says the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, so when what? When you leave the ways of instruction, reproof, okay? It says what? Shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. Because those who leave what? The law, okay? They're going to die, man. I mean, come on, man. That's simply put, okay. Sure. So, man or woman that leaves the that leaves the, this truth knowledge understanding, they don't have what they don't have a covering, man. Nope. Okay, they're gonna be destroyed. Why is that? Because I think it was um in the book of uh Zechariah. I think it's the. Uh, let me see something. Not Ze- uh, Zephaniah. I want to get something real quick. I can I, we go back to that because no, no, it's no, go ahead, go ahead. I think it's Zechariah the third, Zephaniah the third chapter. Just give me one second. What you looking for? Or is it uh? What are you looking for? How they're gonna be destroyed? Oh, right here, beautiful. Okay, I got okay. it. <laughs> okay. This is Zephaniah one and eight, and it says, "And it shall come to pass oh, yeah, in the yeah. day of the Lord's sacrifice." That's when you have. The sins, you how was trying to crack them skies, man. Jeremiah 30 and 7 is going, everybody's going crazy. Death, murder, chaos. Okay. It says that's a lesson in itself, right there. That whole oh, I know, like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I got excited when you said that. Go ahead. <laughs> God, and it shall come, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that will punish the princes and the king's children. Now check this out. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So you, if you don't have these righteous garments on, okay, and Yahweh Bashim Shai sees you what? Clothed with another garment of philosophy, okay, another different way of life, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? I just want to add that. Hey, you said something that's heavy. You mm. said, um, can you read it one more time, Baba Kusha? Got you. It says, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, all caps, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. And you know what that reminded me of? They reminded me of the precept that where um Yahushai bid everyone to the marriage. Mm-hmm. He said that there was someone in there without a garment. Yep. Remember? And he said, you know, how did you get in here? And rough, I forgot exactly where it is in the Bible. I don't know exactly where it is. I was looking for it. But um, pretty much uh-huh. that person, that individual got cast out into utter darkness. So in other words, the Yahweh Shah told us to bid you to the marriage, but if you don't have the proper garb, like the brother was saying, the proper attire, you're not going to be able to enter. Exactly. Right? And that proper attire goes back to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding what we have. Matter of fact. I got you up. I-, I got it. You got it? Yeah. All right, go ahead. I got you. I got you. I got you. So, okay. So, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start at verse nine, just to back back up to land back on what the brother said, and then we're gonna oh, get no, to. Where you, the, where you at? Where you at? Matthew twenty-two. Okay. 
Okay, you just said verse yep. 9. You didn't say what book. Salakia. Yeah, I'm starting at verse 9 of Matthew 22. And this is Jehoshaphat's words. And it said, Go ye therefore into the highways, and, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants, which are the apostles, which are the brother here is apostle as well. Okay. So the servants went out into the highways and gathered together as, as all, Salakia, together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Verse 11 says, and when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. <laughs> Verse 13 says, check this out. Then said the king of the servants, bind him hand and foot and take him away. Cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Now also, that also goes back to well, even when Yahweh was saying, those that say, Lord, Lord, shall not enter to the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, get right. away from me, you what? You workers, workers of iniquity. iniquity. Mm -hmm. That's why. Right. So, once again, those of you who do sin of our people mm -hmm. who commit iniquity, you offend us. Because you don't want to repent and come back to our power. Now, Baba Kusha, can you give me Habakkuk 1? Habakkuk 1? Yeah. Got you. Got you. Because Jake, Jake just want to, you know, Pop Molly's drink from Methazine. I yep. women want to be, you know, showing their cleavage, you know, showing their assets, being promised to do evil. Mm -hmm. Our men want to be feminine. Our women want to be masculine. Even I, even the youth don't even respect our elders. Oh, I mean, when I say our elders, I'm not just talking about the elders of Great Millstone. Because you can see that within Israel mm -hmm. as a nation of people. They don't even have respect for like our senior citizens. No. Nope. Our senior. So it's like, you know, um, um, they're liars, they're murderers, they're robbers, they're 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 um, boasters of themselves. Mm -hmm. What is black culture? Black culture is the black culture, right? Is the epitome of the aftermath of slavery. Whew. That's all My black culture is. God. Black culture is the epitome of post-slavery for the so-called Negro Latino Native uh -huh. American. Why do I say that? Because the Northern Kingdom pretty much follow what the Southern Kingdom do. Mm -hmm. So nope. all, all of us, all, all, the whole head is sick. Think about this. I just saw an article. Jamaica said they banning all music that got to deal with drugs Minus. and violence. Yeah. Yep. What did that tell you? Yep. The entire island, mm -hmm. Benjamin, mm -hmm. son of the right. Banyan, I'm tired of that shit, man. Yum Yum said that. <laughs> Come on, man. So you know how yep. people be going off. Yep. You know? So, Baba Kusha, you read that up? Got you. Uh, this is Habakkuk 1 and verse 1. It says, the burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see. Oh Lord, how long shall I cry and thou will not hear? Even cry out unto thee of violence and thou will not save. Mm -hmm. Why dost thou shew me iniquity mm -hmm. and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me and there are that right raise up strife and contention. So all around us, all you see is violence. You see tribulation. You see anguish. You see people always constantly trying to fight. and be It's like you have certain people in this. Even the Lord said it, some people are born in vain. There are some people that's been created in this world just to test you. Like that's what the Lord yep. did. The Lord just created that person for that one moment Ooh. to see how you was going to react. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Because our lives is not like it. Our life is like the, the way I look at the truth right now. It's like the playoffs. Yep. Not in the NBA, but in the NFL. You only get one chance. Mm -hmm. If you lose this game, your ass go home. In the NBA, you can play what? What? Best out of best out of seven, right? Best out of yeah, best out of seven, right? So you gotta win four out of seven games. So you can lose some. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about yeah, right, as right now. Yeah, as right, we can't lose. Mm -hmm. We can't lose at all. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So so as we see all of that and we cry to the Lord. Our people can't understand that everything that's happening that we spoke about in the book is coming to pass. There's no way in the world no. 
elders came in talking to 20 years ago about Russia gonna Russia gonna destroy America with thermonuclear warheads and all this and that. And they're reading it from a book that come from scrolls that come from the the um the dead and they call them the Dead Sea Scrolls in a cave that goes back to precepts from Matthew and Isaiah and, and all the other prophets. Yep. Yeah, they spoke of these events millenniums ago. Do uh -huh. not know what a millennium, what one millennium is. That's a thousand years. A thousand years, man. This stuff was spoken of a th thousands of years ago in yep. ancient writings, and it's happening today. Mm -hmm. Right? So when we see these things is happening, we know why, but still it offends us. Mm. And we know why the earth was given to the hands of the wicked, wicked. because the righteous, I speak as a man, wanted to be the wicked. So the Lord said, I got one for you. I'm going to do you one even uh -huh. better. I'm going to let the wicked rule over you. Uh huh. That's going to be your punishment. But because I made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I'm not going to forsake you forever. Shalom, shalom. All right, so go ahead up. It's Salak, right. you know, the, the spirit, because you brought something up that the spirit sparked me, man. You said that there was some born in vain. And that, that also takes us, what, to Daniel 12 and 2. But if you go to Second Ezra right, right. nine and twenty two, it says it says, "Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. Mm. Let my grape be kept in my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect, man. So the ones that were born in vain, the degenerative plant, they're gonna they're gonna perish, man. <laughs> you know. Well, hey, but think about this, like yeah. when you say the degenerate plant, they're talking about us. Mm -hmm. They said let. Then who were born in vain, let the multitude, Dude. let the multitude, yep. the, the multitude up. Now think about Isaiah 66 when it says, the Lord shall plead with all flesh all by flesh. fire. The slain of the Lord shall yeah, be many. Nah, That's yep. the multitude of vanity. Mm -hmm. Not just Israel, all nations. Yep. That's that multitude of vanity, right? So when I say born in vain, hell, the Lord could have created someone. I'm just saying in general. Someone is always going to be just like how you have the wicked nation of people. Even mm -hmm. the Lord said, it's and the Lord cold, man. The Lord have a wicked, the Lord has a wicked nation of people. The Lord said, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Then the Lord said, amongst my people, I have found wicked men. It's wickedness in all aspects of yep. how you look at it. You yep. know, but we're just I'm just glad that we on the other side of what we're crying to our Lord to come back and get us. That's uh -huh. who really need to be redeemed and salvaged. Not mm -hmm. everybody else. Those who crying for righteousness, those who cry for the, abom for the abominations. So yep. I don't get it. How, how how someone can claim to be a feminist, but then they're a Christian or someone can claim to be um a, um, a certain pronoun, but they believe in God. Like, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Go ahead. Uh. Democracy, man. The old and gross darkness, man. They need... Gross. Man. Mm -hmm. Darkness and gross with the pun intended. Gross, <laughs> exactly. Go man. Ahead, uh, gross ass yeah. darkness. This is Habakkuk one in verse four, and it says, "Therefore the law is slacked, mm -hmm. and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth come pass about the righteous. Woo. Therefore wrong judgment proceedeth." Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. For prime example would be um, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, where it says that we shall be sold unto our enemy. No, mm -hmm. the Lord said you shall go into Egypt again by ships, all right? And we shall see and know where thereof, meaning Israel. Yep. Because the Lord took us far away. We always was leave and go back, but the Lord took us far away across the mm -hmm. whole world. And he said that we shall be sold unto our enemy as bond men and bond mm -hmm. women, and no man shall mm -hmm. buy thee. But you go into the yeah. word buy. It means save thee. Redeem so when it says, so what you were just reading, right? Mm -hmm. It said what? Can you read again, Bible Gashah? It says, therefore, the law, this is Habakkuk 1 and 4. It says, therefore, the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth. Mm -hmm. For the wicked mm -hmm. doth compass about the righteous. Mm -hmm. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. The law is slack. There's no judgment. Mm -hmm. A wrong judgment, judgment proceedeth. Why? Because there is none to save us. So once again, who mm. needs to be salvaged? Us. Yes. Yep. Then we have no representation on this earth. All, all we really like when you really look back, when you really just sit back, you be like, I ain't got nothing but faith. Cause it's like, uh, cause I used to always say this to the brothers I used to do the word with. I'd be like, listen here, man. 
no matter what happens, bro, you got to mm-hmm. keep doing the word if you truly believe. Because what if I fall out? I, I, I would just I would just throw it at what nah, I'm yeah, yeah, saying. Con, 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 yep. You really doing this because you believe, or was you just doing it because you oh man, you know, you you kind of cool and I'm you know what I'm saying? So so really when you sit when you really be by yourself and you sit down, you think about man, stock going down, gas prices going up, violence is going up, people losing their jobs. Mm. We yeah, we war, it's like the, the the water is boiling, but it's not steaming. We're in World War Three, you know what I'm saying? It's like our people are just constantly going down a degenerative a degenerative path. There's no. gender wars. Nope. It's, it's water looking like sewage water coming out of the faucets. The okay. Lord is burning California up. Oh, it's just so oil spills in the ocean. Mm-hmm. Bees walking on the goddamn ground. It's just so much going on. You got you got dolls with sweaters and babies on leashes. Shouldn't it be the <laughs> other way around? Right? God, yeah. So you sitting there by yourself yeah, and you're yeah. like, uh-huh. Man, if it was for faith, I don't know how I'd make it. Mm-hmm. That's really what it boils down to. Like, how the hell else are we gonna make it out of this hole? Exactly. You know? So exactly, man. finish that last verse in Habakkuk. Got you. Got you. This is Habakkuk 1 and verse 5. And it says, Behold ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelously. Right. Among the heathen and regard, and it shall wonder marvelously. Is there any more mm-hmm. on that precept? Or that was it on that one. Nope, we got more. Okay, and it ahead. says, For I will work a work Ooh. in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. That's so heavy, man. That's heavy, right? Yeah. I'm gonna work a work in your days, though it mm-hmm. be told you. That's a miracle because yep. you ain't gonna believe it. Now, whoever would have thought the same people that was robbed, put at the bottom of a boat where we urinated on each other, yep. we defecated on each other, we, we regurgitated on each other, they will take our wives, our daughters, our sons, and they will mm-hmm. break them and then bring them back down. They will wake us up in the middle of the night to get on top of that boat and dance for them. Then we will get here. Then they will have us on auction blocks. Then they will have us sleeping in the barn with the animals because we were stuck. That's what Wall Street is. We mm-hmm. were the first stock. That's why they call it the Empire State, because that's where they built the empire off of us, right? Mm. Being, being, okay, degraded, hung, castrated. Where do you think pickles in a jar come from? They'll cut man, our fingers off and put it in, yep. put put it in, in jars, man. Mantle, right? Wow. Cut the unborn child from my woman's body. I think I said burn us alive. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, the list goes on and on and on, right? So once again, the Lord said he's going to work something in that day that you're not going to believe. Wait a minute. you saying that you God's chosen people? You can't be. We had you in slavery. Yeah, I, 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 our Lord did say that. Oh, yeah. So so we're the apple of his eye. Mm-hmm. We're his firstborn. Anyone that touched. So it's like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. The Lord works something in that day that y'all don't want to believe. Damn. I mean, how the hell a man go from being a billionaire in one hour, I mean, one day, then less than 24 hours, you're not a billionaire anymore. All because you said, how can I be anti-myself? If I'm yep. yep. Woo! That's what he did, That's what did man. man. Now so he got so, all so these companies. The Lord's working. Yep. Well, the elder's been saying this, but because he's so, of someone of renown, like the scripture says, a poor man's wisdom is heard and quiet. Heard and exactly. Quiet. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got the money. Mm-hmm. So they, they hear what we saying, but they ain't really, you know, vibing with it like that. You know, but yay say it. Oh, sh- even Elder Pastor always say it. Jay-Z said he was an Israelite. Man, you have thousands of people, man. They had to get security and everything like that. Right? But he won't have that money, though. Because the root of all money is the root of the, I'm sorry, forget the love the of money. Love of money is the root of all evil. Mm-hmm. Right? So, so they attach your money with you. Going back to what I was saying, though, the Lord working something in, in, in this day. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. This is what yeah, the Lord That's the spirit. Yo, I, I was right there. Right, go ahead. Right there. Go ahead, go ahead man. I spoke enough. I'm, I'm parched. Go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, man. That was beautiful. That's the spirit. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Exactly. Before the face of such as have afflicted him. Let's go. And made no account of his labors, man. That's, nope. <laughs> that's beautiful. 
Yeah, but That's brother, cool. brother, a prime mm-hmm. example of that. A prime example of that. Y'all living in Section Eight. Y'all yeah. got yep. snap. Y'all don't fool them, man. You, you all, your people are the most people on welfare. Oh, mother Ethel, we shouldn't have to do. We shouldn't have to do nothing in this country. We exactly. built this country. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? We're the yep. foundation of this country. We're the blood and the vessels and the veins of this country. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Right? Then on top of that, okay, all the all the modern day inventions have your names on it, but we the ones who created, created it. it. Like the Lord said that we are the uh, form of all things. Think about this, Art. Yep. Think about this. In our affliction while we're picking cotton. I've seen babies about two, three years old, man. Look like my look like one of my little cousins picking cotton in the black and white video. I'm black and white picture. I never forget a little damn near toddler picking cotton. A mm-hmm. Jake created cotton gin in mm-hmm. slavery. Where are we getting these ideas when we're making ironing boards and all? How the hell we get this wisdom in fucking hardcore bondage, y'all? Even in hardcore bondage, man. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. That, that puts fear in them. Like, yep. Who are these? We have to oppress them. So I can we not be the people from Egypt? Exactly. That's what Pharaoh did, man. Placing exactly. hard intense so labor on the children Lord. of Israel. Come. And, and, so yep. the, and, and so the Lord was the Lord worked something in that day. Mm-hmm. And the Lord worked something in our day. Right? Because listen, yeah. we're just men like, like any other man. But we're not the ones causing all these catastrophes. We're not the ones that the Lord has the king's heart in his hand. He's, he's making all this happen. So yep. it, 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 at the end of the day, you just looking at me, but your house, I said, he that despises you despises me. Mm-hmm. He that despises me despises him that sent me. sent me. So really, you ain't got beef with me. You got beef with your house about Shema was shy. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. And now you now you're gonna have to now you're gonna have to you're gonna have to come to the realization. I'm getting excited. Mm-hmm. The people <laughs> took into captivity are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's children. We are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are God's chosen people. Mm-hmm. That what they don't they don't want to accept that they don't want to, they don't want to, you know. Go ahead, uh. going back to wisdom Solomon 5 and verse 2, and it says, When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Exactly. And, and shall I remember, be God, so God. I, no, I remember, go, go. I remember Elder Apostle Gabar said it before. I never forget it. He said one time when they was out preaching the word, he said, This black limousine pulled up. And his white guy opened the door and he said, how did you guys find this out? We spent millions of dollars trying to hide this. Then he mm. shut his door and drove off. He said he'd never seen the man another another day in his life. So what, yep. what does that tell you? <laughs> they they really have a lot of fear. They fear us. Mm-hmm. Greatly, man. With the salt of the earth, everybody want to be like us, man. Exactly. Everybody. The exactly. people that, well, think about this. Uh, think about how yep. good of a nation we are. We was in freaking hardcore bondage. The whole world knew it, and he's still imitating us. They and that's still imitate. said, imitation is a form of flattery. Exactly. Everybody nope. want to be a nigga, but they don't want to be a nigga. But they want to be a nigga, man. It's <laughs> exactly. Especially when we stand up for righteousness. They're like, oh, hold on. Oh, that's even that's even <laughs> man. Yeah, you are you're a very strong masculine man, but you fear God too. Damn, you like King David. Oh, they oh they fear David, didn't they? Oh, yeah, nope. like David. that's toxic. You know, yeah, hey, so like I'm gonna say this real quick. This hey, this is how this is how I would look at a, 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 a masculine man. He he should be able to take a life in the same day that he can hold an infant child. Beautiful. That's, Ooh, that's, it. that's beautiful, man. Right. Beautiful balance right there, man. Right Wisdom of Solomon five, and um, I'm gonna finish off verse two, and it says, And when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed. At the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they looked for. May I say something? Mm-hmm. I think it was about two days ago. NASA was talking about surveying and studying extraterrestrial beings mm. by the strangeness of our salvation, right? Yep. Yep. How all of a sudden, oh my God, the United States Air Force said that they are unidentifiable flying objects. The elders been telling you that for years, man. Yeah. Yep. Stop it. Ain't nothing new. It's just so, <laughs> it's so evident sun, now. God. It's so evident we got we got these right here. We got mm-hmm. these right here. We got these, these we got these Urim and Thummins. Yep. All right. 
Urim and Thummim was used back in Israel. It's, it's like a, that's what the crystal ball comes from, you know. Mm. Like there was two events that something happened, no one was there to witness it, whatever. You know, there was no other witnesses or other parties. So the, the Levites would go to the Urim and Thummim and they would pretty much display what happened. So yep. somebody said, No, that didn't happen, that didn't happen, that didn't happen. It's right here. Now so we got it. Uh huh. So, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it no one has a rap man. sheet up to the heavens, man. Yep. The, the, the law is going to be like the FBI. The only time the FBI or, C, or the CIA kick down your door is if they think they have a 95% chance of winning that case. Because that's exactly. what's gonna how much they win their cases. So the law going to kick, he going to kick, he going to blow the doors off of Eden's kingdom, man. Kick in the door. <laughs> Mo, Mo, boo. I think that's a man, but you know, the law comes with supernatural power, man. God, man. By the that's strength beautiful. of my salvation, man. Uh -huh. So, um, um, can you read Matthew thirteen and forty-one? Then, you, if you want to get whatever you want after that, got you. Yep. And that's pretty I'm much the whole go. whole purpose and meaning of this, man. Uh huh. Matthew thirteen and forty-one. Going back to that, Yahweh Shai's words, it says, "The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they should gather out of his kingdom." All things that offend and them which do iniquity. Right. Mm -hmm. All things that offend and do iniquity. Yeah, more salakir. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Mm. Now, earlier you had read something where it had mentioned wailing and gnashing of teeth. But of who? It just said those who offend and do mm -hmm. come. So when you read in Revelation, the first chapter, it's a matter of fact, can you give me that? Revelation. Actually, I got you. Yep. Yep. Revelation I'm going to it right now. I'm mistaken. So the will of the the teeth is going to be about who? The death angel, which is Yahweh Shai. <laughs> right? Come. All right. So we got Revelation 1. And where are we? I think it's like seven or eight. Seven or eight. Yeah. Behold, he coming with clouds. Yep. It? yep. Seven or eight. Behold, he coming with clouds. Yep. Let me get that. Let me scroll down. This is seven. Revelation one and verse seven. And it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, those chariots, and every eye shall see him. Mm. And they also which pierced him, going back into the Romans, which goes back what? To the house of Esau. Right. And all kindreds of the earth. Now, think, hold on, stop, stop. Because mm -hmm. you, you, when you read that, I, 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 I was hoping you was going to be like a visionary and then, you know, go into it. Can you read the first part of that, please? I got you, I got you, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every and every eye shall see him. I don't know if y'all saw it on my, on my page, like maybe four or five days ago. I had uploaded a video of brothers from New York. It was a fleet of chariots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep, was, in, um, in yep. and one brother, one brother, what made me mm -hmm. upload it? He was like, Man, Jake just don't know. And I heard, mm -hmm. I just felt his passion like Jake don't really know, man, like how special we are, how powerful we are. And when I saw that, I uploaded it. That's a prime mm -hmm. example right there. All eyes shall see they're gonna come, he's gonna come with a fleet of chariots. Yep. And then, and then the back part of that verse, it said, All kindreds, that's all people on the earth. So exactly. that grand entrance, the strangeness of our salvation, they're gonna they're they're afraid because these dry bones are standing upon their feet again. Mm -hmm. We're not dead anymore because we got Yahweh Shai. Who would dead without Yahweh Shai? You know what uh, I'm saying? Yep. So, that life. And, and that puts fear in them, mm -hmm. you know. And, 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 and so, so you gotta think about it. If the law is life, that means that everything that Esau is going to promote is going to be against yeah. what we know. That's why Antiochus Epiphanes made us not keep any of our customs. Out of all the exactly. captivities, it was the Edomites that forced us to not keep our customs. Mm -hmm. I.e. today, they come with the Bible, don't uphold any of it. The only thing they uphold of it is what? Ties. Why is that? Ties. Because the love of money <laughs> yep. is the root of all evil. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Revelation no, one. No, no. Hold on, Salak. Let's take yeah, it. Keep going. Away with. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. So no time. I ain't gonna time. I don't know, man. Maybe <laughs> it's me. Maybe it's me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, just hypocrites, man. Revelation know, one. <laughs> Revelation one. Oh, 
in, in verse seven, and it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Good. And they also which pierced him. Reincarnation. Uh-huh. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so Amun. And and that uh-huh. brings me back to that iconic scene uh, in, in, in Independence Day, when that huge freaking chariot came out, man. And everybody oh, yeah, yeah, saw yeah, it, yeah. man. Woo! It just yeah. came through the clouds, man. You know, that huge, that huge freaking father shit, man. That's or, how it's gonna be. Or when mm-hmm. that one chair was over that building and the Edomite chick thought she was gonna get saved. And oh, Esau oh, was man. <laughs> God, you see, yeah. like, see Esau today, like, I'm gonna be saved. I'm gonna sh- <laughs> yep. eviscerate it. Yep, man, thinking they can do all types of wickedness. And then guess what? Because they're saved oh. by the blood of Jesus, they okay, man. <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's like when I was growing up. I ain't made honor roll. I didn't, I did not make honor roll. So why do I expect to get a new phone or a PlayStation or something? Mm-hmm. You ain't been, you been, you been skipping school, Esau. You been fighting. You been selling drugs behind the cafeteria. You been getting into it with everybody, but then now yep. you want a reward. Mm-hmm. No, you want to get punished. You no. Know? Yep. But if you this guys is talk, you know. Revelation 1 in verse 8, and it says, I am Alpha and Omega, Yahushua's words. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Keep going. No, I, no, no, actually, I don't know. Actually, I told you that was it. If you got anything else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I'm about, you know, I, I did my, I did my thing, you know. John, John. So, Yahweh Shai is coming to destroy the wicked, all right? He's going to what? Salvage the righteous, those who seek the Lord, who seek him 10 times more, and destroy the wicked, okay? So, I'm going to end yeah, off. Up, up. Yeah. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now, you got to, you got to branch off, huh? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, okay. go ahead, go ahead. So, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just hit this up, and then we're going to, we're going to close it out, Okay. We're going to go to Sirach. <clears throat> Where is it? Uh, it's locked here. We're going to go to Sirach. What's on my phone? Good job, Bob. It freaking froze on me. What you want, man? Can you go to... What, what's going on? All right. Let's go to Sirach. Let's go to Sirach 21 and 9, man. <laughs> Sirach here. This is Sirach 21 and 9, okay? It says, the congregation of the wicked is like toe wrapped together. And the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. So the, all the wicked is going to get what, man? Wrapped up like a toe, man. Like you see like a like a toe of, of just paper being thrown in a can of fire, okay? The congregation of the wicked is like toe wrapped together. And the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. The way of sinners... Going into what? The wicked of our nation and also the other nations. The congregation of Salaki, the way of sinners is made play with stones, but at the end thereof is the pit of hell. Okay? So they're all going to be put to death, or all going to be brought down and destroyed the thermonuclear fire, while the righteous are what? Going to be savaged, salvaged, all right? And saved by the Lord. I have a close our precept to go with that real quick. Nah. Pretty much to sum up. Everything mm-hmm. that offends because Esau is pretty much the root of all evil here. Yep. This is um, Obadiah verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house yep. of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, mm. and they shall kindle in them and devour them. Because you just read how the wicked is like a toe, and then has a flame to it. Where the yep. flame? The Esau is the toe, the stubble. Yep, that's beautiful. Yep, yep. Right. <clears throat> and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh have spoken it. You know, that, that's going to be a residual, of course, for the kingdom. But after that, after a thousand years, only the Edomites going to be obliterated off the face of the earth. Oh, obliterated off the face of the earth, man. Like that toe wrapped together and thrown in the fire to be destroyed. <laughs> all right. So I pray that you are all edified. Okay. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rabbah Peace and blessed go from the elect. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and to the elder bishops. Right, and much respect right. to the Gabarim and the Hedges and to the Gabarim making videos edification. Shalom. 
Wa Barakatam. Shalom. 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 Shalom, everybody. Shalom. 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 Sh